let's listen to the sound under this bridge. Let's go. So hello people, this is Muscarblock and today I have a really amazing car with me. This is the last V8 E63S AMG and it produces 612 horsepower and 850 newton meters from a 4.0 V8 by Turbo. The color is called Selenit Grey Magno and in this video I will show you the outside, I will show you the inside and I will take it for a drive. So stay till the end. So starting off at the front, we have this shark-like front here, like we know out of the AMG GT four-door and stuff. The hood is really aggressive. Uh, we have these intakes here. These intakes, they also look really similar like on the like on the GT63 SE performance. At the front, we have a carbon splitter even. This car has the carbon pack and it looks really, really good. Just look at it from the front. So moving down to the side, we have these amazing AMG wheels we all love and we all know with the red steel brake behind it. Look at this. And the side profile of this car looks really, really good. It looks like a shark. And on the inside, we have the yellow stitching, which looks like the first edition one model of the E63S. And it looks super, super cool. So let me show you what's under the hood now and then move on to the back. And after that, step inside. So this is the heart of the E63S AMG, the 4.0 V8 by Turbo, one man, one engine, 612 horsepower. And it looks really good, this engine, and it sounds really good as well. Despite it being such a new car, it sounds really good. So now let's move on to the back and after that step inside. So moving on to the back of the E63S AMG, we have these absolutely aggressive quad tailpipes with the carbon diffuser, the carbon bumper on it. This gives the car a really, really mean look. We have the spoiler lid there in the body color, which also looks really good. And we have these new design tail lights, which now also cover the tailgate, not like on the pre facelift model. And we have the E63S AMG badging, and it just looks mean from behind. Just have a look at it. It looks super, super mean from behind. So now let's check out the inside and then start driving. But before that, let me show you the boot space of this car because it's a sedan and we care. Well, it's really, really big and it goes really deep inside. It goes really deep inside. This looks really good. And, and now let's take a seat behind. So opening the back door, we are greeted by these beautiful yellow stitchings here. The carbon also here, the carbon panel, the Burmester, heated seats in the back yellow stitching everywhere this alcantara like finish and full leather it looks really really good let's get inside it's really roomy in here really spacious it looks really good it feels really good and it's a pleasant place to stay here at the back so now let's move on to the front so inside this amazingly specced E63S for 150,000 euro at Mercedes-Benz Zenger for sale, it's for sale there. Um, we are greeted with these yellow stitchings I told you about, the carbon here, yellow stitchings, really, really nice contrast with this gloss carbon, heated seats, ventilated seats, memory seats, Burmester audio. Let me, let me turn on the steering wheel for you so you can see it. So... Let's just move a little bit. Okay, perfect. So look at the steering wheel. We can change here the comfort, sport, spot plus, race settings. And we also have an individual mode and an ice mode. Uh, here on this side, we can individualize which buttons we want when we press on them and we set them through here. So now the camera is turned on, for example. So uh, the carbon is also here and it looks, this center console looks so, so good. Even though the IWC clock is gone, we still have the exhaust button and the button for the manual shifting and we can also change the dynamic controls here. We have a different styles for the for the gauge cluster. We can change it here by this home pad here. We can for example go to AMG performance and then we see the temperatures and the boost and how much horsepower we are using etc etc. We can also change the screen by styles we can we can go to the style menu and now we can put it to classic which is basically nearly the same just I, I think it looks better than the sport one and we can also put super sport which is the AMG one we all know and love I really like this one this one looks absolutely amazing seriously and we can also go 
and put this one here which is a little bit boring I think where you basically see nothing so look at these seats we have the the yellow stitching here is not only just here it's also here a yellow surrounding which looks really good AMG badge on the head crest the yellow stitching everywhere carbon everywhere I'm sitting really really good I'm in love with this steering wheel I'm in love with this car so now let's get on do the sound check and then take it for a drive So people, let's now take this E63 AMG for our drive. So people, currently driving the car in comfort mode. It is really, really comfortable. Uh, it looks really good in here, the driving, the steering wheel. And now let's get to a street where we can drive a little bit faster. So people, we are currently driving with four cylinders. This car has cylinder deactivation. If you are not using a lot of power, it will go to four cylinders to save some fuel. Let's listen to some sound here. It'll pop some bangs. So people, the E63S is a really comfortable cruiser at normal speeds it's absolutely capable of being a daily sports car a daily car a daily sedan a lot of space a lot of comfort really nice materials and now let's see how it is on the throttle it's popping and banging a lot Sounds actually quite nice. Let's listen to the sound under this bridge. Oh, a nice loud bang. <laughs> and now we are allowed to drive 100 kilometers per hour. So let's do that by flooring this car. Oh, it's really fast <laughs> and it sounds so amazing it sounds exactly like the GT since we have the same engine in here if, if nobody is behind me I will do a little race start now so let's do a race start Everyone ready? Let's go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was so fast and the noise, the turbo whistles, everything. Oh, this car is so aggressive. Pop, pop. Bam, bam. Sounds really good. Full throttle. Oh. Bam bam. Oh, the pops and bangs are really loud on this one. This car is aggressive, ladies and gentlemen. This car is really, really aggressive. Wow. So people, let's now continue our drive. This thing pulls insane. Seriously. And the turbo whistle noise, like the blow off valve or the turbo and the turbo whistle. See how this car goes around the corner. Goes 
really good around corners, honestly. and bangs are really loud oh ladies and gentlemen does this car feel faster than the m5 competition i don't think so they feel similar fast. they feel exactly the same it's basically down to preference which one you like more agility i can't test it really here it's like a straight road no racetrack but it sounds mean for sure and it goes crazy I have to correct myself, it sounds way better than the GTE performance. Um, you have pops and bangs here, on the other one I didn't have like any. I had barely any pops and bangs and the blow off here it sounds even crazier. And ah, this car is so lovely ladies and gentlemen. Let's now turn around for one last time and get some more driving impressions. So people, let's do one last race start and see how it goes again. No one's behind us, everything's okay, everything's clear. So let's go, foot on the brake, full throttle. Oh my goodness. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, this car sounds so good. Beautiful car. If you made it up to this point in the video, you might as well check out the GT63 SE performance video I did. I will link it up below. For this video, I will end it now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching, and I hope I will see you in the Autobahn video of this E63 SAMG. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen.